Hello. In this video, right, I'm going to be tier listing all of the new films I watched in 2021. Uh, they're not films that came out in 21, just stuff that I have watched the first time this year. And I'm doing a tier list because there are 64 things. So, here it is. These are the films. With the, they're just normal, normal tiers. Just, yeah, and then as usual for the bottom, for anything that is so terrible, it doesn't even deserve a letter. So we start off with a bang. Blood Mind My Way Home safe to say it's going up there there's no other option for it you know oh let me just put it there for a second hold on let me just okay the fourth one mm, is the best one mm, it'll probably be like a b maybe and the fifth one will probably also be a b um hmm and then the first one would be a c the long one is probably and then the third one can stay absolutely awful because i didn't finish it i watched like 20 minutes of it it wasn't great it was a completely different story like it wasn't even the same thing i'm gonna make a new tier actually and then let me that's about right there you go hamilton it's not technically a film but whatever i didn't watch it live so i'm counting it as a film i put it like here like it's iconic but the second mum on the year i think it was probably better than the first one i'm gonna put it in c because i really don't know where else to put it what is this what what is this oh it's the first spider-man toby Maguire. okay interesting hold on let's find all the spider-man third one's the best one probably like c maybe and then the second one and the first one would go here and then the amazing spider-man 2 would go there and the first one would go here fancy island don't really put that there i don't even know it was all right this is harder than i thought but i'll put it all right question is it better or worse than these two Spider-Man. Say it's better. Is it? I'm just gonna put it in here for now. No. Yeah, that looks about right. The second escape room. I didn't like the ending because it's like setting it up for another film. It's like you really only needed one to be in with and now you're having at least three. I think it was good. I'll put it here. A Quiet Place 2. Up there. It's not S tier, but it's really good. Uh, Carver Sisters was much better than I thought it would be. There's still nothing amazing, so I'll put it here. Jungle Cruise was really good. Hmm. I'll say B, maybe? Little Women. Hold on. Up there. Little Women. So good. Encanto. That also gets an S tier. Honestly. Love it. And then we have... Suicide Squad and the Suicide Squad. I think the Suicide Squad is better than the first one, but I don't know where it would go. Probably in B. And then the first one would go in like C. The second Maleficent, not as good as the first one. I don't think there was really much point to it. I'll go here. Midsummer. It's pretty good, pretty good. I'll put it. Yeah. A circle. Why? Why didn't it even? Why did it even? Why? Why did they think? Yeah, this is a great film. Let's produce it. It. It was like the whole film was in one place, and it was just about killing people, being like, "Do you deserve to live?" Well, you're a child. Mm, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, it just wasn't. Wasn't good. Uh, Spirit Unpained. That's the film that came out this year. I think it was decent. It was alright. It was basically just like the first episode of the show in a film. So... I thought it was probably like... Top of C, maybe? Uh, House of the Witch can go in absolutely awful. That was terrible. My gosh. That was so bad. The Last Summer can also go there. Wasn't good at all. Uh, and Second Black Canada. Those are all bad. 
Great bath. Oh, and the empty room. Oh. <laughs> That's a blurbit project. So bad. There you go. Pet cemetery. I mean, it was nowhere near as good as I thought it would be, but I don't think it deserves to be in this bottom one. So I'll put it in D. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Tricky one. Um. Hmm. I mean, I got the references and I haven't even watched any of the other Ghostbusters. Like, I've seen parts of it. I'll put it in there for now and we'll see if it can make its way out. Good boy. That's probably like a B. It's like, mm, maybe C. I'll put it C. Corpse Bride. Uh, I'll put it here. The Conjuring. Mm, that's like an A. That's actually really good. Doom. Yeah. The Fear Streets. So the third one, that gets an S tier for me. And then the second one, yeah. And then the third one gets an A. Black Widow, obviously, no doubt about it. Uh, Moxie, what was that even about? I'm gonna look at the trailer. Caitlin Price, I'll take that now. I don't know, can you? Yeah. I'm gonna keep constantly shirtless. People refuse. Right? Okay, this was pretty good. I think um, I can go in like B. Don't look up. C. I think it's like a high C. Cool. I did not like it at all. I think that might be mainly because when I watched it, it was incredibly glitchy because I was, uh, because Demi was screen sharing it on Discord yesterday. Mm. Mm. A week away. God, that was awful. Ready Player One, no, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't great. Vacation, I think the humour, humour, yeah, yeah, the comedy, that bit, bring it up to the sea. But, yeah. Love and Monsters, um, give it a B. The Kissing Booth 3, why does it exist? What was the point in it? You go there. Use all that. It was better than I thought it would be, but it wasn't amazing. So. I liked it. I think I'd give it like a B. In a tall grass, you'd probably get like a C. Devil Time, absolutely awful. Fear of it too, absolutely awful. I didn't even see the first one. I only went to see the second one because I needed pictures inside a cinema for my media coursework. So we just went to watch um, whatever film there was. We could have watched uh, A Quiet Place 2, but Rosie wouldn't let us. Then going on to 90, it's not absolutely awful. It's probably like a loady. Cruella, my gosh, I love that so much um crowd gets an a it's not s but it gets an a so we're the first the film well no i'll put it in c it's like it's not bad you know but it's like obviously not amazing the open house absolutely awful um it's all the way spree good but no need for it so i'll put it in d spree d the social dilemma i actually i remember it but not like a lot What I want people, every single people's blood to Google when we can we spell like our the documentary film thingy. I really liked it. I think the social dilemma. Hold on, let me put it in. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Let me put it in C for now. And then we have the two, uh, the second and third Narnia because I didn't know they existed. I had watched Narnia so many times, I loved it, and I didn't know there was more. Prince Caspian's definitely better than uh, the Voyage one. Prince Caspian. That can go in, not there. Here. And then this one can go here. What do we think? Okay, let me like sort it out. I'm gonna put it into an order.
Let's go. That's um. That's it. I think. Maybe. I don't know how it happened, but I accidentally left out two films, two good ones. Um. So I also watched Luca and Raya and the Last Dragon this year. I'm gonna go through my top ten after this clip. But it's not really gonna be my top ten because I'm gonna. It's gonna be my top twelve because I'm also gonna insert the other two films within yeah our top 10 is so in 10th place is um is fierce rape 1994 yes and then in ninth place is the conjuring and then now it's actually 10th place and it is ray and the last dragon in eighth is the quiet place 2 and then in seventh is the best buses after life and now is our actual seventh place and it's luca in sixth is Fish Street 1978 and then in top 5, number 5 is Fish Street 1666 and 4 is Encanto and 3 is Black Widow and 2 is Little Women and 1 is Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, also uh, Bo Burnham Inside, I watched that but I fell asleep in it so I'm not including it. But here is my straw, what do you think of it? No really. Yeah. That's it. So um... Uh, I hope you like this. I will do it again next year. Like, subscribe, comment down below, all of that, and I'll see you in my next video, which is my resolutions. Bye.